I want to share with y'all today some really, really happy, happy memories. Uh, I was living downtown in my little pre-Civil War house. It was so tiny and so cute, and I loved it. But one day, I got up and said, I want to live on the water. So I came out here to Wilmington Island. The first and only place I looked at, I bought it because it was in a subdivision called uh, Turner's Cove. And there was six condominiums that were right on the water. In fact, when you walked out your back door, you could almost spit into the creek. So I, I had been there almost a year, like nine months, when my dogs ran from me and ran around that big wall uh, right up to this man who scared me because I, I ran and chased my dogs around there. And uh, there was this shit man with shaggy beard, shaggy hair, propped on his fence, talking on his cell phone, and he was smoking a cigarette. And so I apologized and got out of there just as quick as I could. Well, two weeks later, my dogs did the same thing, Otis and Sam. And uh, so I chased them right back. At least this time I knew where they were going. And uh, so I stayed and asked him a few questions and uh, a friendship began forming that day. And it's a long story, so I'm not gonna tell it now, but it's a funny, 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 funny story. And I tell all about it in uh, my book, It Ain't All About the Cooking, my memoirs. And uh, so we decided, because uh, he had two children, I had two children, plus a niece and a nephew. So all together there was six children. And uh, before I knew it, it seemed like it was all, all, always somebody's birthday. So I chose one Sunday out of each month. If you were born in January, we had a party for all the January birthdays, February birthdays, March birthdays. We had a lot in March. Uh, but we would have the best time. We would cook out, we'd get out in the yard and play games and uh, we just had so much fun. It was like a birthday party when we were a kid, but now we were big kids and so many uh, fun memories. Well, we were having one of those Sunday birthday parties and my nephew, Kari's brother, Jay, who's no longer with us, he was this beautiful, beautiful young man. And he cared about his body and he was a clothes horse and he really took a lot of pride in the way he looked and he was drop dead good looking. He was one of the most handsome men I've ever known. So he watched what he ate. So I decided that I was doing hamburgers for this particular birthday party. And uh, I said, well, I wanna make them special because I think we had three birthdays in, in that month of March. So I wanna make them special. So I uh, took my ground beef I put me a stick of butter in the freezer. You can see where this thing is going, can't you? I got my hamburger meat, my ground beef in a big bowl. And I seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic powder, And the final ingredient, after I got this mixed up good, was gonna be one of my favorite condiments in the whole entire world. I thought, now what can make these burgers better? And I remember one time I made, on one of my shows, a crispy, cream cheeseburger 
and that happened quite by accident. So I think I got talked about a good bit for that. I was, they accused me of trying to kill everybody. <laughs> Even though I said, once in a lifetime item. You can only eat that one time in your life, but it was so good, that sweet with that savory. So I decided that I would take my frozen butter and cut it up into cubes and just mix it in with my ground beef. And the reason I froze it is because I want it to have an opportunity to melt slow. So I mix this up just like this. And I patted them all out and I put them on a tray with parchment paper. I'm out of parchment paper. Um, clang, clang. I can't wait to get a lot of more room back in my kitchen. Um, so I took my burgers and I patted them out. And they look so beautiful. And my precious little nephew came in the kitchen. And I proceeded to tell a story. Because he said, those look so good. What is that? I said garlic because I wanted him to eat eat one <laughs> so we cooked them and we got through eating and Jay came up to me and he said ain't Paula that was the best garlic cheeseburger I have ever put in my mouth and we all started laughing and he said what what's the matter I said, well, Jay, I told you a little tiny film because I was afraid you wouldn't eat it. But that was butter, not garlic. <laughs> so we all had a big laugh. But uh, this butter, as it melts while you're cooking, is so, so good. It's just so good the way it flavors that ground beef. So I try to hide them in there the best I can, but sometimes it's a little hard to do. Now these are gonna be a little tinier. And naturally we cook these on the, whoa! Look at that piece of butter trying to get away from me. <laughs> that piece of butter don't know who they're dealing with, do they, Eddie? <laughs> All righty. So, um, I'm not gonna try to cook these on the grill today, I'm gonna cook them in the air fryer. And like I said, our butter's gonna melt, but it's gonna melt throughout that burger. And it's gonna be so, so good. And naturally I served uh, this with some good old steamed buns. My grandma taught me um, to put a colander in the top of a pot and uh, then a dish rag and then put my buns, whether it's be hot dog buns or hamburger buns, and just steam them where they're real soft, but they're very, very hot and it just makes for a succulent burger. All right. This is coming along mighty good, y'all. Mmm, I did a good job of hiding the butter in that one. All right, did you see that, Eddie? Yes. All right. As I do everything, I'm putting this on, uh, 400 and anytime I'm doing something like this y'all I put it on for 10 minutes 
and then I check. I check it after that because these machines cook quick. I know mine does. I really don't know about others out there, but my brand cooks very, very fast and quick. And um, I don't want to overcook them. But when I turn them over and cook them for another couple of minutes, I'm going to put some cheese on them. And it's going to be good, good, good. And Jay, I can't tell you, honey, how much we all miss you and love you. Well, y'all, I set the timer for 10 minutes on our butter burgers. And you know what? They're done perfectly. 10 minutes. Look, perfect, perfect doneness. So, it's time for the cheese. Cheese, please. Oh my gosh, I got a royal flush, Eddie. <laughs> no, I've got five aces. They're all just alike. <laughs> so, put the cheese on them, run them back just for less than a minute. And uh, serve these up on warm buns with lettuce, tomato, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, pickles, uh, avocado. Did I say tomato? Lettuce and tomato, did I say that? Uh, I do love avocados on my burgers. But any kind of cheese you want, and you gonna be eating a lip smacking Paula Dean's butter burger. <laughs> Thank y'all. Loving best dishes. This brought back a lot of a lot of fun memories for me, so thank y'all. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.